I just want to get back to a normal life. I want to live in peace. Fearing for her life, a St. Bernard Parish woman is speaking to WDSU after detectives suspect her ex-boyfriend lit her house on fire. This happened Wednesday morning in the community of Violet. WDSU's Harrison Golden is in St. Bernard with a story you'll see only on 6. Harrison. Well, so the woman who owns that house tells me she is glad detectives have an arrest warrant out for her ex tonight. But still, she tells me her nights just like these remain restless. I'm not in peace. I can't sleep. I can't eat. I get no rest. Worry. This is what Trinika Ross was afraid of. Her family sent WDSU this footage. You can see a man entering Ross's home in Violet unannounced, kicking open a shed with a gas can, then using the gas can to set Ross's home on fire before leaving. Detectives suspect the man behind this is Ross's ex-boyfriend, 52-year-old Melvin Hendricks. If I would have been there that morning, I probably would be dead by now. Ross fears Hendricks' goal was to kill her. That's why she's been living elsewhere ever since they broke up earlier this year. But one person who was at the home during the fire, Ross's nephew. At first, I thought it was all a dream because I was still unaware of everything that was going on. He escaped unharmed, but Ross's daughter worries what Hendricks will do next. He really after her, but if I'm in a way, there's no telling what he'll do to get to her. Ross says this isn't just about her own safety. It's also about her family. I'm afraid. I'm afraid for them because they'll be trying to protect me and he'll actually hurt them. So I'm, I'm, I'm afraid for my family. And my family shouldn't have to live like that. As for the house, Ross hopes to clean and repair, but not yet. She refuses to go back there until police make an arrest. You gonna pay for what you did. He gonna pay. He gonna pay for what he did. Now, Hendricks faces charges of aggravated burglary, aggravated arson, and illegal possession of a firearm by a convicted felon. He does have a record here. Uh, now, with all of that in mind here, police ask anybody with information that could help detectives, deputies in this case, Call the Crime Stoppers tip line. All tips are anonymous. That number on your screen, 504-822-1111. Again, 504-822-1111. We're live in St. Bernard Parish tonight. Harrison Golden, WDSU News.